Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial on how to switch characters. So with this tutorial, you can change the characters and also switch the camera views. There are in total 4 steps to achieve this. The first is to set up all the characters. The second one is to set up flags for switching between characters. The third one is to switching controls and the fourth one is to moving the camera. Let's get started. In the first step, you have to decide what are the characters and what are the controllers. In this case, I have a person with up, down, and left, right stick, and also a UFO with these controllers and the car with also these controllers. In the second step, we are going to set up flags for switching between characters. So at this step, you can also change to marker nodons or other methods, but I'm going to demonstrate how to use flags for this tutorial. So I will need three flags, one for each character. So the first one is for the person. And let's say this flag is true when we are controlling the person. And then we need one more flag for the UFO. And also another flag for the car. Next, we have to control when the flag is on or off, right? Let's say in this case, I want to use the D-pad controller to select the character. Let me add the first button. Then let's say that when up button is pressed, I will select the person. So I have to change the output timing to be on press and change this one to be up button. When up is pressed, I have to turn on the person flag, but turn off the other two flags. Next, I'm going to add the left button for the UFO. I change this one to be left. And this one should turn off the person's flag, but turn on UFO flag and turn off the car's flag. The last button is the down button for the car. Change this to down, and then turn on the car's flag, but turn off the other two. But you notice that when the game starts, all the flags are off. We want to select one character when the game starts. So here I need state change on start. And let's say that my initial character is the person. So I have to turn on the person's flag. And this is our flag set up for switching between characters. In the third step, we are going to make sure that only one character can move. So let's look at this person node on. We only want to move it when the flag is true, but when the flag is false, we want to ignore this input. So to do that, we need a multiplication sign. And then, we stop sending the signal from the controller directly by deleting all the links. Then we connect the controller and the flag to the multiplication sign. And then we connect the output of the multiplication sign to the person's input. So this means that when the flag is true, the person will read the stick input. But then the flag is off, it is zero, and zero multiplies whatever is zero. So the person will never receive the input. And we are going to do the same with other controller. Then we are going to do the same with UFO. We need to multiply the controller signal with the flag. Delete all the direct links from the controller to the character. Then link controller and the flag to the multiplication sign. Output. Link the output of the multiplication sign to the input of the character. Yeah, repeat the same for all the other three buttons. Okay, so let's test it. Now when the game starts, I can only move the person. But after pressing left D-pad, I can move the UFO. And now when I press down, I can move the car. Yay! But you can see the problem now, right? The car goes out of the screen. So in the next step, 
We are going to fix this by moving the camera view. Okay, so let's move the camera view. Okay, first let's look at the camera nodon. So basically this camera can only attach to one object, but now we have three characters here, right? So my idea is that I will attach this one to the box. The box will change its location based on the active character's location. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so first let's add a box. And then we link the camera to the box. And I go to the settings of the box. I remove everything except movable. But right now we cannot move this box. So I'm going to use the free slider to move this box. Then I'm going to attach the box to this free slide. But the free slider need another object. So I'm going to add a fixed box. And for this box, it should have the fixed location. So I remove everything. Then I move it to the center. Because the free slider, because the input of the free slide connector is relative to this box location. So yeah, I prefer this one to be center. Next, we need the input for the free slider, right? So let me add the wormhole exit. For all the XYZ coordinates. Let me change the first wormhole to be X to match its meaning. I connect X exit to X input. And then I also add Y exit for Y input. Lastly, I'm adding Z for Z input. Okay, so in so here we have to make sure that when the person is activated, the person will send its location to the wormhole entrance X, Y, and Z. We need a location sensor here to detect where the person is. So we go to objects, sensors, and then location sensor. I connect this location sensor to the person. And then I'm going to add the wormhole entrance X, Y, and Z. But we do not want to send the location if the person's flag is off. So here we need multiplication sign. And then we multiply the X location with the flag before sending to the wormhole entrance X. We do the same for Y and Z. So we connect the Y location output and the flag output to the multiplication sign and send the signal to Y entrance. Yeah, repeat this step. Okay, we can test the person first. So when UFO is activated, we need to read the location. So we can copy this location circuit from the person and use it on our UFO. But don't forget to connect this location sensor to the, to the UFO and link the flag output to all the multiplication signs. Repeat this for the car as well. And lastly, don't forget to make the location sensor invisible so that we do not see the white line. Yeah, so now we can see the person moving. And when I press left on the pad, yeah, the UF is now at the center. And if I press down, now the car will be at the center instead. With these settings, you can now switch between any characters. 
You can even do like a person gets into the car, which I will also cover in the future tutorial. Lastly, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye, and see you next time.